All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, word blanks. So we are provided sentences with some missing words like nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. We then fill in the missing pieces with words of our choice in a way that the completed sentence makes sense. Okay, so we're going to consider this sentence. It was really blank and we blank ourselves blank. This sentence has three missing pieces, an adjective, an adverb, and pardon me, an adjective, a verb, and an adverb. And we can add words of our choice to complete it. We can then assign the completed sentence to a variable as follows. So we have it was really in a string. And there's a space right here. And then we'll add hot, and then we'll add a comma and we, and then laughed and ourselves and silly. <laughs> I don't know why they don't just, there's no variables there, just anyway, whatever. Uh, so in this challenge, we provide, we were provided with a noun, we are provided with a noun, a verb, an adjective, and an adverb. And we need to form a complete sentences using words of our choice along with the words that are provided. Uh, we're going to need to use string, can, the plus operator, uh, to build a new string using the provided variables that we were just told we were going to have. Uh, we will then assign the form string to the word blanks variable, and we should not change the words assigned to the variables. We will also need to account for spaces in the string so that the final sentence has spaces between all the words, and the result should be a complete sentence. Okay. So this isn't that hard, but it is going to be tedious. Uh, fact is, let's start off with a the, since we're going to do the big dog ran quickly, right? We only need to add the one the, and then we're going to say plus, all right? And I'm just going to leave that one blank for now, and then we'll add a, an, a string with a space in it right here. I'm going to copy this, all right? And then we'll add some more pluses. So in here, the big, and then space, plus. Another space, that's for dog right there, plus. And then we're gonna have this space right here. When I say space, it's a space that we're gonna put this stuff in. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so now we've got that actual space right there, the space string, whatever we wanna call it. Uh, then we'll have another plus, and so we've got the big dog ran. So let's have another plus after this, like that. Let's have another control V right here. And then we're going to have another plus and we'll have that, sp that space right there is going to have quickly in it. And then we're going to have another plus and then we'll have a string with a period in it. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. So first, let's get this my adjective. Copy it inside here. Paste it. We'll get my noun. Copy it inside here. Paste it. We'll get my verb. Copy it inside here. Paste it. And then we'll get my adverb. Copy this inside here, paste it. Hopefully this looks good. Let's come down here and say console.log like that. And let's put word blanks in there. We can just type that out, word blanks like that. The big dog ran quickly. Let's add one more space right here. Let's just say this right. Nope, you can't do that. We already, all right, whatever. You, you know what we can do. All right, so let's do that. And let's add a plus like that. And now the big dog ran quickly. Run the test, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to store multiple values, pardon me, store multiple values in one variable using JavaScript arrays, and we'll see you next time.